Part two, The Miracle Within. It helps to go into labor feeling confident about your body's ability to give birth. But if you haven't had a baby before, it's only natural to wonder how your body works to bring your baby out of your uterus and into your arms. The amazing fact is that women's bodies are perfectly prepared to take on the experience of childbirth. Here's how. When a fetus is mature enough to survive on its own, it begins to release hormones into the mother's bloodstream, where they meet up with hormones produced by the mother. This new hormonal balance signals the uterus to begin contracting gently, sometimes unnoticeably. Prostaglandin also helps to soften the cervix, the opening to the uterus. This process is known as ripening. When your body is gearing up for labor, you may feel the kind of low backache or abdominal cramping that comes with a menstrual period. You may have soft bowel movements or diarrhea or some stomach upset. Many women feel a sudden burst of energy and a pressing need to finish preparing for their baby's arrival. Even though you may feel excited as labor approaches, it's a good idea to take it easy eat well, and drink lots of fluids. Then you'll be able to make the most of your body's strength when labor gets underway. I guess you want some more? <laughs> <laughs> you'll know you are progressing toward labor if you have blood-tinged discharge, leaking of amniotic fluid from the vagina, or contractions which, at the beginning, may come and go with no real pattern. Throughout pregnancy, thick mucus fills the cervix. As the cervix softens in preparation for labor, the mucus plug is released a little at a time or occasionally all at once. You may pass a small amount of blood with the mucus plug. Bloody show sometimes occurs days before any other sign of labor. Amniotic fluid may leak from your vagina before labor really begins. Sometimes the membrane seals over and the leaking stops. And sometimes the membranes, also known as the bag of waters, break. Surprisingly, the waters break at the start of labor only about 11% of the time. If your membranes rupture or leak before you are in the hospital, you should call your health care provider who will want to know the time it happened, if the amount of fluid was a leak or a gush, and whether or not the fluid was clear or if it had any color or odor. Okay, stand up. Okay, breathe. You may experience occasional or irregular contractions for days or even weeks before labor begins. You'll know labor is underway when the contractions don't go away. Usually they will form a regular pattern and get stronger longer and closer together over time.